we go. I want to talk about the letter that I gave on the first day. So Tuesday um, was just a normal day of school and I had my mom, who's the school secretary, deliver an envelope to my class, a mysterious envelope. It says, top secret to champions of room 31 from question mark, question mark. This really excited them and made them wonder and like really intrigued their interest into like what's going to happen tomorrow because inside this letter it read... Dear champions of room 31, you have been exclusively selected to join the secret agent spy detective team. Your mission begins tomorrow at 8 a.m. in this room. Good luck agents, you'll need it. Sincerely, question mark. So this is a letter that I read out loud to them when my mom brought it in and they were so excited. Like they were like, just the energy that, like the energy in the room changed once they realized like something exciting was gonna happen tomorrow. And I love being able to engage my students in that way. So this letter was super awesome because I was gonna tell my class to wear black and dress like spies, but on their own, they were like, we should wear black, we should dress like spies. I was like, yeah, let's do it. So for them to like initiate that was really awesome. They are still wondering who wrote this note. So I decided last minute, there wasn't ever going to be like a reveal of who wrote the note, but now that I'm thinking about it, we have a dog mascot um, named Champ. This is our mascot Champ, and he's a great class pet because he doesn't pee or poop and we don't have to feed him. Get yourself a statue class pet. Anyways, um, I was like, what if I make it so Champ is the one who wrote the note to them because Champ is always playing tricks on us and always... Um, being involved in our our mysteries or um, our classroom every day. So I left a note this morning for Champ or from Champ and it says, hi secret agents, I hope you had fun yesterday. Someone left a clue under the MVP desk. So I printed out the letters C, H, A, M, and P and under the MVP desk right now are the letters H and A. So throughout the, today and tomorrow, they're gonna the letters are going to be revealed and the last letter will be given after our final mission tomorrow at the end of the school day. And we'll be able to put together that Champ is the one who wrote the note. I'm getting ready to decorate this room into a secret spy agent environment and I'm super excited. This is what I have for decoration. This is literally all I'm using. I have put butcher paper on both tables and I printed just some signs that are detective and spy related on neon paper because I've borrowed six black lights from my student council that I'm going to light up the room with and these are really going to stand out. The coolest part though is the white string that I'm going to be hooking across the room, the ceiling, because it's gonna look like there are lasers throughout the room once I turn on this black light. This is what I have for them. I have a pair of sunglasses from the dollar store and then I got these beanies at a warehouse store online for 49 cents, I think, a piece. These are extras that you absolutely do not need in this transformation. I printed out secret agent badges, so they're gonna come in on the first day this morning and write their name, their code name, and their specialty is gonna be their content area that they feel the strongest in, so math, reading, and writing. Uh, when I take attendance today, they're all gonna share their code names. They're gonna put them in this little badge thing and then wear it around their neck.
is the morning of day one of our secret agent spy detective team room transformation and I am so excited to have these kiddos walk in and see all the awesomeness that's going to be happening today. When you do a room transformation, it's super important that the content is rigorous and that the kids are paying attention and they're into the content. Um, you don't want it to just be a free day of, oh, we're in a fun environment, we're not going to do any work. I take these transformations super seriously to teach some of my hardest concepts. Today we're going to be working on units of measurement, converting those, and then inferencing skills and context clue skills. So I'm excited to get them ready on their missions. So because behavior is super important during a room transformation I am holding up to the standard of a secret agent spy so each kid has a badge that I showed you and throughout the day if they're doing behaviors that a spy wouldn't do they will have their badge removed and they'll be asked to leave the classroom for a few minutes for a timeout in order to kind of rethink their choices and then come back in and join us now if this behavior is reoccurring obviously I'm going to have to take further action but they don't want to lose that badge and I have a strong feeling that none of my kids are gonna get to the point where I have to take their badge completely so having the badge is the perfect way to um, manage behavior during this room transformation so my secret agent spies will be in the classroom in about 15 minutes when they walk in they're going to have to scan their fingers and to get into the classroom and this is just a free app that I found if you just do finger scan it's a free app so they'll get to scan their fingers to get access into the secret mission room and I cannot wait to see their reaction is a success. I could not have imagined it to go better so far, so good. They walked in, they were excited. We filled out our badge names. When I took attendance, they said their code name. We went over all the expectations of keeping the badge so we don't lose it and have to suffer consequences for that. A preview of the PowerPoint that I'm gonna be using all day. Um, they're gonna walk into this with music playing, of course. I'm gonna play Mission Impossible. And then I'm going to discuss badge requirements, aka the behavior that I expect throughout the day. They must complete all missions with extreme focus. All spies must participate and keep a positive mindset. And they still must follow all the team rules that I have set for our classroom, of course. Um, I don't want to have to remove their badge and, you know, give them an alternative assignment. They want to be able to keep that badge, and this is how they keep it. Also talk about paragraphs. Um, reminding them of the expectations of a paragraph and then their mission will be to write a paragraph on what they would do if they were a spy for the day um, and then we're going to highlight our oh sorry highlight our indentation introduction sentence underline the details and they're going to look really cool under the black light um, and they'll be able to identify if their partner is missing an introduction or a detail things like that so It is very much a similar schedule. We still have our, you know, morning schedule, specials, lunch at the same time. Like everything is very much the same. All I'm doing is taking my curriculum and adding a spy secret agent twist on it, which is super easy. Um, during math, we're converting units of measurement and we are doing practice problems that are around the room and they are word problems. And I put in like Agent Taylor or Secret Spy Weston. Um, just changing the words in the word problem to make it spy themed is super easy. And then we're going to review them as a spy team. And how much did all Just because they said he retreated. And Very same problems I would have done with my math curriculum, just made them relate to our theme. During reading, I'm super excited because we're working on inferencing on teachers. Okay, ready? Mirrors on. Mirrors on. Making an inference. Making an inference. An inference is. An inference is. A conclusion based on facts. A conclusion based on facts. Look at the text. Look at the text. 
Use your background knowledge. Use your background knowledge. And you've made a difference. And you've made a difference. Here's off. Here's off. Teachers pay teachers. I found this top secret um, case files activity. So they're going to walk around in their spy teams and look for clues when they're finding their, uh, making their inferences. And they're going to walk around and do that for reading. Um, Um, during reading centers, I'll have kids flashlight reading in the black lights. I will also have uh, passages from our curriculum where they need to go back and highlight um, clues from the text that help them understand and make their inference. And under the black light, that's going to look very cool. So they'll be very into having to go back into the text and find those um, clues that help to make their inference. Is the last day of our spy theme room transformation. We've had so much fun. Our last mission of the day is going to be kind of like an escape the room. There's going to be five envelopes and in each envelope is um, a task for each teammate to complete that reviews what we covered this week. So um, envelopes one and two have converting units of measurement problems. Envelope three has a challenge where they have to come to me, their whole group, and sing all of our skip counting ch chants. Um, envelope four is reviewing inferencing, and envelope five is paragraph writing. Once they complete an envelope, they will come to me. So they complete envelope one, all teammates have completed it and shown their work. They will get a card, and the cards will spell out popsicles because in the end, they are going to get popsicles to end our spy mission theme day, and it's gonna be so fun. They're gonna be super pumped and, um, excited to finish the envelopes that way they get their clues so they're going to work really hard to review those concepts with each other Some other activities my spy team did was flashlight reading, which is something they really enjoyed. I also had math centers where the answer to the problem was under those flaps, so they had to go and look for the answers on the wall to check their work. The mystery uh, top secret project was super fun. They made a poster and presented on their mystery. Everything I um, used in my classroom this week for this transformation, I will link down below in the description of the Teachers Pay Teachers products that I use so you can also use those and implement them into your spy transformation week. I feel like teachers think room transformations are this huge ordeal when really it's just adding a little bit of things to make learning super fun for them. Uh, the curriculum does not have to change, you just have to add a little twist to it. So the work in itself is not too much when you really sit down and think about it. Um, and creating awesome moments for your class is so worth it, they're going to be so into it, and I'm excited to see and have you follow along this journey on. Thanks for watching. I hope you got some new ideas to implement in your classroom. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at teachwithsparkle as well as check out my blog www.teacherwithsparkle.blogspot.com.